Welcome to your February 2022 release highlights. Today we'll be covering updates to generally available features, GA enhancements, and early access features. Let's begin with generally available features. New burst rate limits for authentication and authorization flows provide peace of mind by ensuring an unplanned spike does not negatively affect the end user experience. Integrations in the OIN catalog address multiple use cases beyond SSO, such as LCM, social login, and identity proofing. This information is provided on both the OIN catalog landing page and the integration details page. Please note, Okta also provides calls to action to help users immediately find value with these integrations across the Okta product platform. Use cases and functionalities replace app categories and filters, which were previously used to sort integrations. This feature will be gradually made available to all organizations. A change in provisioning to Office 365 prepares Okta to migrate provisioning operations to Microsoft Graph API in 2022. This improves performance and reliability. Please note, admins are now required to grant consent for Okta to call Microsoft Graph API to enable provisioning features for Office 365 app instances. Configure a custom error page offers full features for admins to customize the text, look, and feel of error pages using an embedded HTML editor. You can now customize the text, and the look and feel of the Okta hosted sign-in page using form controls and an embedded HTML editor. When used together with a custom URL domain and a custom Okta hosted error page, this feature offers a fully customized end user sign-in experience hosted by Okta. We are excited to announce that you can now customize an Okta URL domain. Your Okta hosted pages are branded with your own URL. Okta Managed Certificates automatically renew through a Let's Encrypt integration, a free certificate authority. This helps lower customer developer maintenance costs and reduce the high risk of a site outage when certificates expire. Admins can now enable a secondary email option for LDAP sourced users in new organizations. LDAP sourced users who have not previously provided a secondary email are now prompted to provide it on the Okta welcome page. The prompt continues to appear until a secondary email is provided. This helps LDAP sourced users with another option to recover their password when their primary email is unavailable. With password expiry for AD LDS sourced users, admins can now expire the passwords of AD Lightweight Directory Services sourced users. Forcing users to change their password when they next sign into Okta enhances org security and keeps passwords updated. With improved password status accuracy for LDAP sourced users, the status of LDAP sourced users is now accurately displayed on the user profile page. Previously, the user status incorrectly displayed password reset when a password was active. This update reduces the time admins need to spend monitoring and managing user passwords. New features for Health Insight include enabling end user email notifications, password resets, Recommendations for admins to enable password changed email notifications. And displays a suspicious sign in count within the recommendation to enable block mode. Risk scoring improvements are being slowly deployed to all organizations. Now let's move on to GA enhancements. Email reminders for custom URL domain certificate expiration are now sent to super admins and org admins only. With OIN Manager Enhancements, users can now select a maximum of five app categories for ISV submissions. If an app category is not selected, the app is placed in the All Integrations category. With error message and logging improvements, an error message for group push mapping to alert that a group is not active or not found has been added. Error logging has also been improved. The new device notification email and SMS messages have been renamed to new sign-on notification. Now, when users click the custom user profile link, the page opens in a new browser tab or window. Admins now see the user.authentication.verify event in the system log. 
This event is triggered when a user successfully signs into their account. This feature is made available to all organizations. App notes written by an admin are now displayed for users who hover over the app on the Okta End User Dashboard. The masking algorithm now reveals fewer digits for shorter phone numbers. For example, if the phone number has eight digits, the first five digits are masked and the final three digits are visible. Finally, let's conclude with early access features. Three additional Okta username formats are now available for LDAP sourced users. Admins can now select employee number, common name, and choose from schema to form the Okta username. These new options allow admins to use both delegated authentication and just-in-time provisioning. With these new options, it's easier for admins to integrate their LDAP servers with Okta. To make client secret rotation a seamless process and improve JWK management, you can now create overlapping client secrets and manage JWK key pairs in the admin console. You can also create JWK key pairs from the admin console without having to use an external tool. The EA version of Okta Epic Hyperspace Agent version 1.3.2 contains security enhancements. And that's your February 2022 release highlights. For additional resources on this release, please be sure to use the URLs in the description below.